What's up guys, Quizzy here, bringing you guys another tutorial. This time I'm doing some Christmas theme stuff for Cinema 4D. Not sure what I'm titling this video yet, yet but you probably already know because you're watching the video. But basically I'm going to show you guys how to do, well, like put some like snow on text and how to make a gift present thing that looks wrapped. So, um... Let's get into it. Uh, I'm gonna do a quick text setup, so this part's gonna just fast forward a little bit. And yeah, so um, stay tuned. Alright guys, so I have simple little text set up using Christmas colors. It says bread because bread's a cool word. Um, and if my name wasn't Quezzy, it'd be bread. But I can't do that now because I told someone to change the name to bread and they did because they're awesome. But um, to do this snow on the text thing, first of all, you're going to need to download the Magic Snow plugin from Nitro 4D. Um, they're the same company that made Nitro Glass and stuff. Um, download link is in the description. Um, and what you're going to want to do is make sure that this square is big enough to cover your text. So I'm just going to expand this out a little bit and put it above my text. Then I'm going to make the snow size a little bigger because we'll need that later. And put the birth uh, birth rate up a little, a little bit as well. Um, I'll just roll 50 for now and change it as we go I guess. Um, and right down here it says collision, it has this box. Um, you put things in here, and the things you put in here, um, snow will rest on them. So we want to put our text in there, but first we have to make it an object. It can't be the extrude nerves or a text thing, a mo text. So we're going to right click on the bread um, folder, um, select children, and what just happened? Did I, oh, did I do the, I did the thing, didn't I? God dang it. Alright, give me one sec. Alright guys, if you, this ever happens to you when you accidentally hit set as root, all you need to do is go to view, go to main level. only reason I showed you that is because someone asked me about this earlier, but yeah, okay. So, um, to make this um, work, you gotta go select children, see on the keyboard, right click, select children, right click connect objects and delete so now we have one object and we're gonna go to the magic snow and we're gonna drag that down into this box then we're just gonna go to our timeline and go forward and you'll see the snow resting on the text now if we want it in bigger clumps we can make the snow size bigger like that if we want it in littler clumps we make it smaller if um, our computer can't render it because it's uh, too much you can put the quality down so it's more square or if we want it more accurate you can put it up um, doesn't really matter it's whatever the higher the birth rate the faster the snow will fall and the more of it um, yeah so as you can see if I render this real quick hopefully this doesn't take too long Alright, for some reason it didn't do this, but um, usually when you render it, you can see the snowflakes coming down. I don't have no idea why I didn't do it for this time. Did it last time. In la actually, the last like nine times I've done this. But So you might get the snowflakes falling, and it's really annoying. Um, so to fix that, you want to be on the Magic Snow plugin. Key click Keep Snow. And then uh, you go back to zero, because all right, so all these would be rendered. You hit keep snow, uh, and then you go down to zero, and they're gone, and you don't have to worry. You have the snow already on the text, and it, as you can see here, it makes it an object. And if you guys want a good snow texture, I have one right here, and um, I'll have the download link for it in the description. It's pretty good. Um, 
Yeah. So that's some quick snow to I would render this out, but I want to get on to the next part, which is making a gift present. So um, I'm just gonna put this in a folder, group it, forget about it. Um, so, so making a present is quite simple. You may have seen a tutorial on this uh, on YouTube. I remember I saw how to make this on a tutorial two years ago, maybe, and I still remember it. I know I I used it once, but I guess I can use it now. So basically, if you didn't see what I just did there, I made a cube and I had three segments for each side. Then I hit C to make it editable. Edit. Uh, editable, editable, yeah, not edible, editable. All right. So um, then we're gonna go to the selection tool and click on this polygon one. Then we're gonna click V and hold it. Go to select loop selection. Click away. And we're just gonna go around. Hold shift. Go around. So you should have this present T looking shape. Go to the bottom. Go to the select tool. Hold control and click on these ones so they deselect. Alright, now we're going to right click, go to smooth shift, drag that out a bit, you can see it extrudes it, and um, once again this is just easier for coloring, I'm going to go to V loop selection, go to the top, go to the bottom, and I'm going to drag on my colors for the ribbons, and I believe it does not do the inside there. Um, so you have to individually go in here and click these which is really annoying but I mean if you want it to look good you gotta do it I usually just do it on the side that is actually visible so like if I was rendering in this corner I could do it like right here and I'd probably be good but you guys could do the whole thing you'd get the idea drag it on we got that um, oh gotta drag on the color for the main part Okay, there we go. So there's a simple box. Um, to add a lid, we just duplicate that. I'm gonna move it forward. I'm gonna hide this one for now. <clears throat> go to selection, the polygon, V, loop selection, bottom two, delete them, and then do all these. Delete. Oh, crap. Gosh darn it, I hear this. There we go. Then we're going to just go back to the uh, normal stoof and just make the, the lid a little bit bigger so it fits like a lid. And it's going to bring this down as low as it can go. So like that. And there's a simple little present. And you can mix up the colors and stuff. Oh, it looks good. So that was a quick little tutorial on some Christmas stuff. Actually, it wasn't too quick, but um, I hope you guys enjoyed. Please leave a like, leave a like if it helped. And uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching. I'll talk. See you guys later. Peace.